We asked the congressman for his reaction to the Afghanistan pullout, his endorsement by a conservative group that opposes vaccines, and the latest Washington Post story that is sharply critical of the congressman and his family's business. The Washington Post reports today how American farmers lost millions of dollars to a company owned by Ted Budd's family in a bankruptcy case. The Washington Post article is out today. What is your reaction to that? Yeah, that's a company I never had. You know, they're talking about an old company 20 years ago that I never had any involvement uh, with. And I think it all really comes down to the fact that Donald Trump has endorsed me. The national story sparked a brutal response from one of Bud's opponents in the upcoming GOP primary. Former Congressman Mark Walker says the story, quote, confirms the Bud record. Follow big money and you'll always find Ted Bud. Sadly, this time, Ted Budd and his family swindled farmers out of millions so egregiously that Congress had to create a special bailout because of his company's actions. You know, Mark's a friend, not sure what he said, but, uh, you know, it's probably a desperate campaign and remarks from that uh, position. We also asked the Davie County Republican for his reaction to the American withdrawal from Afghanistan. My heart's broken for the way it's been managed. Uh, I understand there's 200 to 250 uh, Americans that are still there that uh, we need to bring home. Support the idea that troops should be out, but not the way it was handled. Is that at, fair? at some, we need to perhaps you know protect an air base or something like that, but have a very light presence there and, and be you know have 99% uh, removed from Afghanistan. Today, the conservative group Freedom Works endorsed Bud in the North Carolina Senate race. This is a, an organization that has been very vocal in its anti-vaccine, and I'm wondering, do you support that as well? Look, I, I want people to have freedom to do what they wish if they want to be able to remove their mask. If they want to uh, not uh, be vaccinated, that's their choice. Congressman says he opposes Governor Cooper's veto of the pistol permit legislation. Republicans wanted to end it after more than 100 years in North Carolina. In Alamance County, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.